Hi, this is Kevin on the TIPCO FormVine team. I want to show a new feature in FormVine 3, Task Flows, that helps facilitate simple workflow processes in FormVine. As you can imagine, a vacation request form would be followed up by a simple assigned approval step. So let's go through that. Here you can see I've got a vacation request form. It knows the name and email address of the person who signed into it. And there's a vacation starting date and how many days you'll be out. The easiest thing to do is to simply add a email control into the form and let's label this uh, your manager's email address. And with this uh, we're ready just to simply say apply changes. We'll save and keep working. And now what you'll see is follow the blue link in the top left hand corner back to the project homepage. This is new in FormVine 3 as well. And you can see after the vacation request form, we can now add a task form. Three different kinds of task forms, approval form, comment form, and a blank form. Turns out they're all the same, just some default content is different. But technically this is a form just like any other form in FormVine, except this one has a person assigned a task to complete it. So here you'll see the approver's first name, last name, for approver's email address. Again, you can click in and change these things if you want. And here's a decision. A decision says approve and reject by default, but again, you can change this to say have a nice vacation or uh, sorry, uh, you can't go at that time. So with this, very quick and easy, uh, there's some approvers comments and you can put things into restricted sections that uh, other people won't see uh, when the email goes out uh, to the approver uh, or other people. So in this case, let's just quickly say apply changes, and now we'll set up who this actually gets assigned to. You do that under the assignee button here, and instead of defining a static task assignee, which you could do by typing an email address into this particular location, uh, we will get the task assignee from the following form field, and in this case, your manager's email address, and click apply changes. There we go. Now, we probably want a notification too, so we'll click on Notify up here in the top right. And we're going to send the task assignee a notification. So we'll include the data in the notification email, and here we'll say uh, new uh, in the variable project name uh, request uh, was assigned to you. And then you can customize the message. You can send up other notifications like when the task is complete, we'll send an email back to the submitter. So in this particular case, we'll include the data in the notification email too, and your, uh, again, this, uh, your vacation request, because vacation request is the name of the project, uh, was um, decided. And then of course the content will show whether it was decided, uh, approved or not. So we click apply changes, and now we're ready to do it. So we'll go back to the vacation request homepage. We're going to open up the form here. Uh, it's the system knows because I'm already signed in at this is Kevin Hackman accessing the form. My manager is Michael Peachy. Michael Peachy is also a user of the system. We've got the uh, vacation starting date here. Um, actually, I'll change this over to khackman at gmail. We can take a look at that email response that I get. Uh, how many days will I be gone? Uh, 123 days, and then could click Submit. Great. Okay, so here I am in a Safari browser, and I'm gonna log in as khackman at gmail.com. We can see I'm associated with several different projects, but here I've got a vacation request with one pending task. So I come into my task queue. This is where the email would take me as well, and we can see you know, my first name, last first name, who the requester was, who the manager is, in this case, khackman at gmail.com. Open up the task. We see the approval form adjacent to the request, uh, and I click and say, have a nice vacation, add a comment, bring back photos. And then we have a confidential comment. Well, oh my God, uh, this guy is going on vacation again. And I click 
save for, uh, so either save for later if I want to postpone the decision and come back to it or uh, click finalize to uh, commit that decision and clear out my task queue now. So that's form tasks and uh, ask questions on the Tibber subject form finding.